Nate 35 and here is my finished ST model blaze this plane is one great flyer I gotta tell you um, if you buy this plane you, you will not regret it it's just a fun fun plane to fly uh, but that's not really what we talk what we're here to talk about we're here to kind of talk about some some building tips that I that I want to pass along after I did this and uh, Maybe it'll help somebody out when they, if they do buy this, the how to build it and make it a little bit easier for themselves. So, with that said, let's uh, let's get started. Okay, the first tip, I say, put the stickers on first. Put every single sticker on here first. Um, the wing obviously needs all these stickers. These are all individual stickers. This. This one is one long one. Here's another one, another one, another one, and another one. I started from the back and worked my way forward, uh, just trying to make sure that these gaps here are somewhat even. Um, and then I basically put the sticker all the way to the end of the wing, at the front tip of the wing, and just did it on this side, and then obviously did the same thing on that side starting on the tip like I said once that part was done I went ahead and just put in the other stickers like this it's these ones are no big deal just do it by sight um, same thing with the bottom all those every one of those stickers are separate stickers so it's it's a kind of a pain in the butt but uh, once you get it done it'll look nice um, the back, actually, the the tail, I believe that was just one sticker. This whole thing here was just one sticker, so that was fairly easy. That's no big deal. Um, once you get all those stickers put on, then you can go ahead and start building. Um, you start off on the tail, and you basically all you do is unscrew those. Uh, you unscrew the uh, the rods so that you can take these things off off the uh, off the servo horns there and it'll allow you to basically put the uh, v-wing on there and be able to adjust it accordingly so really easy nothing uh, crazy I think if anything uh, you just want to you know take it easy go slow the wires that that go in here you want to tuck them in you know try to do it as neatly as you can uh, don't let anything get bounded up and and uh, it might mess up the uh, the wire, so you know just be just take your time, and uh, it's a super easy process. Just take your time. In the front, you have uh, you have this plate here, uh, but I think you put in there's a there's two bottom wing connector plates, and let me see if I can show that to you, right there. So there's two screws in the front and two screws in the back. And basically what it does, it connects to this main big plate here. And here are the four, where the four screws basically go into. The, the tips, these aren't the tips showing up. That's just plastic. But that's basically where the, the screws come up to. And then you screw in these two here and here. And there's a rod, obviously, in the middle. Put that together. It's super easy. And then you do some tucking of, uh, of wires. And you screw it in there, and that's done. So after that, you're basically done. It's that easy. There's nothing to this plane. Like I said, the, the only part that's hard in this whole plane is putting on all those stickers. Now, this part of the these stickers didn't, didn't actually come with the model. I put that on there myself. I had some extra stickers hanging around, so I figured, what the heck, I'll put it on there. It's probably kind of overdoing it, maybe, but I don't know. I think it's somewhat cool. Okay, and I think the last thing I want to mention about this plane that uh, is kind of a pain in the butt is the, again, back to the stickers. These stickers don't have a strong glue or or sticky substance to it, so it can easily peel off, which is a pain, which I don't like that, because I really like the way it looks, and I want to keep it that way. So what I've done is I've started laminating using this laminate 
material right here, which I purchased from aloftHobbies.com. That's spelled A-L-O-F-T Hobbies.com. And this is the uh, this is what they put on there for a sticker, or, or just to tell me what it is. I, I think I bought four feet of this, which is what that means. And I think this is this says something about zero zero point three. I think is the the thickness of the laminate. So I used that and I ironed it on. I did the whole fuselage that way. And as you can see, when you look close, the bare styrofoam obviously looks looks dull, while this looks shiny, as you can see there. So run doing the laminate, don't be intimidated by it. It's really super easy. Uh, you can overlap it, um, and it doesn't show up. It's it looks really cool, and it doesn't. This this type of foam doesn't doesn't bubble like the other type of foam. So I I'm probably going to go ahead and disassemble this and put that laminate throughout the whole main wing and the V tail. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the bottom. I think I may just do the top part, just so that these stickers stay on. And I think it'll also, and I'm I'm sure it will. Uh, make the wings stronger by putting the laminate on there. Um, so that's probably going to be my last step is uh, laminating the wings. And after that, that thing is uh, should be well, not going to be uh, crash proof, but it's going to be a lot stronger than the stock version. Oh yeah, and last thing before I forget, I bought this uh, Dubro wingtip tail skid. This happens to be a 2 inch size doesn't really matter um, what size you get I mean it's just up to you I just chose this because I thought it looked um, it looked good on the plane so as you can see I put it on the tail section just so that when it's landing it, it doesn't just skid on the styrofoam and tear it up well in this case since I put the laminate on here it shouldn't tear it up that bad anymore but anyways I put that on there on the tip it's not a big deal it doesn't uh, throw the CG off it's really light so um, you know if you want to do that you can go ahead and do that too that again that one is pretty cheap I think it was uh, I can't remember less than five bucks I think maybe two dollars I can't remember but anyhow that's really the only other mod that I put on here and uh, oh wait before I forget just want to show you what where my CG is on this plane or how I put the battery in so that, excuse me, I can't get this thing uh, to open up here it's kind of touchy, there you go, okay so the way the battery is situated in this plane to get the CG right is the battery is basically pushed all the way in right in there, so let me see if I can pull it out so you can see it's it was all the way in there and my receiver is on the end of the battery I, I mounted the the receiver on the bottom part of this plane on the inside and I messed around with it a little bit because I wanted to I wanted to put it in the right spot so that when I push this battery in let's see, push the in little, hold on once I push the battery in the CG will be right and that's once I found out where I needed to put that receiver I I stuck it on there with double stick tape and now I never have to worry about making sure I have the battery in the right exact spot every time because it stops it every time and it's so I put it in the right place every time and then I used this little styrofoam pad here that I cut up and I just push it in there there's a little Le little ledge here, as you can see. Let me take this thing back off. On the inside, as you can see here. So when I put this in, when I put the styrofoam in here, I can actually wedge this thing in there and push it in so that this won't move forward, and it'll keep that battery snug in its location. Um, once I'm done with that, I'm ready to go fly. You know, plug it in, obviously, but uh. You know, put the top back on, turn it, she's ready to go. So, uh, I think that's it. 
nothing too crazy super simple uh plane to build and uh if you buy this uh, you will have a great time flying it it's a it's an awesome flyer well nate 35 signing out